what's up you guys it is your girl eternal fam and i'm back with a reading for you guys please be sure to like the video if it resonates comment down below if you felt that vibe and subscribe the reading doesn't resonate today or the next time Holy Spirit, I cleanse this reading from any negative energy that may try to interfere with these messages. Transmute this energy into positive peace, love, and abundance for the collective. Hmm. Holy Spirit, what do you have for the collective? You got the Three of Swords in reverse. You got the Queen of Coins in reverse. You got the chariot in reverse. You got the three of wands. Bottom of the deck, you have the nine of cups in reverse. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of built up emotions, but I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm hearing an animosity I feel like someone feels like you guys have like unfinished business but yet this person can't really call themselves like your friend or somebody you're close to you could have relocated or moved on from someone or completely like just went on with your life and someone feels like like things were just left on I'm sorry I'm like whispering I'm sorry okay so um, someone feels like there's unfinished business between you two, and I feel like, um, you kind of just went on with your life, and there's, like, somebody here who you're, like, no longer friends with, or you don't talk to anymore, who feels like things are just, like, not what they used to be. I feel like you and this person used to run neck and neck like this. Like, y'all used to be, like, on the go. Like, this used to be, like, your favorite person. Rather, this is family, friend, whatever. I feel like you and this person was, like, two peas in a pod or something. But I'm getting, like, whatever happened in the past, like, it was no coming back from it or something. It's almost like if something happened between you and somebody and then like y'all stopped hanging around and then y'all hung out again and like it was just like real awkward or it wasn't the same. I feel like because it's not the same. And it's almost like You guys really only relate when you guys are, like, talking about, like, childhood traumas or, like, talking about past experiences or, like, you guys only really relate when you guys are drinking or hanging out. But I feel like with the Knight of Swords here on, like, y'all best days or, like, on any other day, like, you guys are, like, it's giving me, like, a frenemy vibe. It's like you guys hang out because you guys relate to one of another from like what happened in the past and you guys could like share so many stories with each other that's like bro like I get you like I feel like you and you you and this person get each other but I feel like it's almost competitive or like like I said a friend of me vibe where like you guys fight a lot or argue a lot or like it's like no problem for y'all to get in an argument like it's no problem for y'all to get in a agreement i mean a degree oh yeah like if you guys like just disagree with each other like i just feel like i don't know i feel like there's something that's going on here that maybe you you feel like this is like behind you now what's the three of swords holy spirit 
Yeah, we got Chestis. So, the sun. So, yeah, I feel like one person went off to be, like, happy. And then the other person just kind of feel, like, stuck in the same place. And I'm not getting, like, it could be, it could be financially, but I'm not getting that. I feel like one person just feels stuck in a mindset, like, stuck in a lifestyle stuck in a place where they have not grown in some way there it's in an area where you have so i feel like whatever area of your life that you have this um some sort of like um childhood womb especially if this is like a childhood friend or something or a family member who like you may have bonded with off of some sort of childhood wounds that both of y'all shared or something maybe y'all both came from broken homes or something i don't know what the case is here but I feel like um, whatever it is that you related on this person with, like, you've grown from it. You've evolved and, like, you're moving on with your life. And I feel like this person is still that child, that wounded child. And I feel like with Justice here coming out with the Three of Swords, I feel like it's almost like this person returned to your life to see if, like, you were still, like, that broken child. And I'm getting, they had realized, like, you're not. So if you and this person separated, yeah, two of cups in verse, like if you guys stopped being friends for a while or like y'all went off and did your own thing for a while and then y'all hung around each other again or something, it's like a, oh, okay, so, so you're mature. Like I feel like this person sees that you've matured in some sort of way. What's the queen of coins? I cannot make this up. Queen of cups yes i cannot make this up like this person sees like this is this is the energy that you're dealing with this person sees like you are like some of y'all you could have became a parent you know what i'm saying you could have gotten married you could have you know went on some sort of spiritual journey there's something that changed about your character that has this person looking at you as somebody here who is very um compassionate like i feel like you really have a, a soft spot or you had a soft spot for this person or this person just looks at you as somebody here who just really wants to give you know and be very supportive when it comes to the community the collective like somebody here is really looking at you as somebody here who was very influential but i feel like on like a teacher type of level like you can teach people or you're you're quick to help people or you're quick to assist people or people could come to you for advice and stuff like that like but i feel like this person like with the queen of coins in reverse i feel like this person has a lot of maturing to do and i feel like that's what it is i just feel like for you guys yeah, this person could be stable. They could be living their best life. They could have a stable life or they, they could be struggling, whatever the case is. But I feel like this is somebody who needs to mature. Like, I feel like they're they're older, but they're young acting or something like that. What's the chariot? The seven of wands yes I definitely feel like this person holds you at a really high standard and to be honest with you even though it's the seven of wands facing the chariot I do feel like somebody compares themselves to you when it comes to your success and I feel like especially like depending on like the it doesn't matter if like you have like the finest things or you work at the best job like I said, I feel like it's what you have accomplished. It's what you have overcame. That is where the insecurities come from. Because with the Six of Wands, this person needs validation to feel like the Nine of Pentacles. And you guys are just the Nine of Pentacles without this validation. Like, you don't need people to tell you you're beautiful because you feel beautiful. You know you're beautiful. You know you're, you, you're proud of yourself. You don't need people to tell you that they're proud of you. You already give you you give that love to yourself. Like somebody really sees you pouring into your self love. This person really looks at you and be like, like 
some years ago you would have been crying over spilled milk honey and like now i'm looking at you now and like i don't even know if i know this person anymore and it's kind of like this feeling of like they feel like you're leaving them behind what's the three of wands or they feel like this is what's going to end up happening the five of swords wow the five of swords and the king of wands in reverse Here's another person who is upset about you leaving them behind. It's a king of wands in reverse. This person is in the five of swords. Excuse me. So there's like a karmic masculine. Um... A karmic masculine energy here who is also very jealous and uh, they're trying to play a bunch of mind games with you to try to get you to like still involve yourself with them but um, I'm getting with the nine of swords like I don't feel like this person this person is triggering you I feel like you've healed or recovered from some sort of selfish energy yeah, and I feel like with the king of coins, yeah, these two energies are the same. These are two immature energies. So you could have like an immature ex and like an immature friend or something who like you're leaving behind. Yeah, and I feel like with the nine of wands, this is really triggering these people. Because queen of swords, like I feel like you like, you're, live, you're leaving these people life with like love and light. But like you're like strict orders like you're not letting these people completely into your life how they were expecting they were expecting things to like go back to the same or like go back to what they were used to and i'm getting it didn't especially if you had a falling out but let's see what's this three of swords justice spirit holy spirit what's this three of swords justice the nine of swords yep yeah yeah so some of y'all could have found out about some past betrayal here some somebody lied okay and i feel like um somebody here feels guilty and i feel like you could have found out about this and you're like yeah no what's this holy spirit yep you found out about some sort of hidden motives or some shit that was going on behind the scenes honey and i'm getting somebody here is extremely guilty about this somebody here like somebody's being found guilty of something that they lied about or they said that they didn't do i'm getting somebody's like i would never do that i would never do that to my friend i would never do that to my lover like i would never do that but i'm getting they did what's this yep some of y'all this friend could have been involved with somebody that is no this friend or somebody could have been a third party yep because they're going that king of coins in reverse and who, what is this friend energy they're the they're the same energy so I feel like both of these two people could have been like playing like I would never go. I would never hurt you like that. I would never betray you like that. I would never betray your trust like that. But I'm getting they really did. And some of y'all, this may be something that you don't know because I feel like with the three of swords being in reverse, you may have not known this, but you may have picked up on this with that moon card. Like there's something that is hidden, but I feel like you could subconsciously feel like some sort of alert, like trying to alert you like, hey, pay attention to the red flags, pay attention to the signs, something ain't adding up, ace of swords, something not adding up, it's not looking like it's supposed to. And I feel like you could have questioned this person's motives and you could have questioned your partner's motives motives but you never really had the answers that you was looking for you never really had confirmation on your intuition right and i feel like with this situation here it's like yeah somebody here from your past is feeling real guilty real guilty they feel like they wish they would have never did that but i feel like let me get one more here and we're gonna move on from this yeah i'm telling you hair front and reverse some of y'all, this person could be the reason why you're going through a divorce. It's like, <sighs> this person seeing you coming back in your life and seeing you in this Queen of Cups energy makes them feel bad. Because I feel like, especially if you're leaving behind like a karmic masculine or a karmic relationship or a karmic marriage that you were in with somebody here who was disloyal, I feel like this person feels guilty because they know that they got something to do with that. Because if your partner was playing a lot of mind games and being very manipulative and doing the most and 
this person is like it's eating them up alive because they have to they have to go to their grave with that especially if you don't know I feel like they gotta go to their grave with that i feel like both of these people were very immature about how they acted towards you on some spiteful jealous shit because i feel like it was jealousy i feel like somebody here was jealous of your marriage or jealous of your relationship that you have with somebody and they could have spited you on some low vibrational energy like this person was like a very wounded child and I feel like this person used you as like a way to escape. Like, so you could have been this person's, ex their, their scapegoat or I don't know what this was. But I feel like, like I said, a frenemy type of vibe. Like, this person was not really your friend. And I'm getting they could have hooked up with one of your lovers from the past. Or some of y'all, this could have been like a marriage here that was ruined by a friend. But yeah, like this person returning in your life and seeing you in this Queen of Cups, it's like triggering them because they're like, this person is so loving. This person has been through so much and they still have such a big heart. They're still able to move on and like just evolve in their life. And to see this, it just triggers this person into realizing that they were the problem in this relationship. They could have definitely tried to make it seem like to everybody else, like the reason why you guys fell out was because of some other reason. But in reality, this person is like keeping it to their chest that like they interfered on your relationship or something that you have with somebody just because they were acting out of some sort of, I don't know, what's the Queen of Cups and the King, um, what's the Queen of Coins and the Queen of Cups? The Eight of Wands. Yeah, this person sees like you surpass them. They see all the moves that you're making. They see things really working out for you. They see you taking an action or something like this. Yeah, and I feel like with the Ten of Cups in reverse, it's like I'm also getting as well like you could have moved on from a situation. It's like if your family was broken up, your relationship was over, it was just done. Like I feel like you just moved on. <laughs> You didn't stay stuck. You didn't stay stagnant. You didn't stay disappointed. You just moved on. Yeah, and like I said, that Queen of Wands in reverse. This, this, there's two karmics here. They keep popping up as the same suitors, which lets me know that they were involved with each other. That's what I'm getting. And this is a third party situation. I'm getting that some of y'all, this is a friend. I'm, I'm, I keep getting that. I'm getting this is a friend and a masculine that you left behind. You may have not known that they were involved with each other, but I'm getting they were. I'm getting both of these people were karmics in your life. They were your biggest karmics. I'm getting you literally, you turning into the Queen of Cups, let you know that you were very, um, you were the growth in this connection. So with this friend, you outgrew this friend. With this lover, you outgrew this lover. Neither one of these people outgrew you. You outgrew them. And I feel like you are leaving them behind, but it's crazy because spiritually, you're soul cutting with these two karmics but i'm getting that what's happening here is you don't realize if some of y'all you might know but others of you guys you didn't know that they was dealing with each other so the fact that you are energetically cutting off both of these people at the same time is not a coincidence it's because energetically your subconscious like i said whatever you are not picking up on your subconscious will so i feel like whatever it is that your if your intuition was blocked you weren't able to see something was going on it was a lot of smoke and mirrors like the reason why you had some sort of feeling is because it was still being picked up rather you could see it or not and i feel like that's why energetically now that you have went through some sort of spiritual awakening or maybe you're going through some sort of initiation whatever the case is here i feel like you energetically cut two karmics off it's like you killed two birds with one stone and you didn't even realize why you felt the need to do this or some of y'all did maybe you had your own reasons but energetically i feel like your spirit was detaching from these two karmics who were connected to each other this entire time okay what's the seven of wands and the chariot the seven of swords here in reverse yeah If this person is feeling like a failure because their plans didn't work what's the seven of swords 
Yeah, the fool. They feel they feel somebody feels silly. Like somebody's like this yeah, I just feel like somebody's like this was pointless. I ruined a friendship. I ruined a situation because I feel like this person could have grew with you. People have choices. Just because a person is a karmic does not mean like when you met them, you could have been in a karmic energy. You could have been in very low vibrational energy. But you decided to grow. This person could have did the same thing. Y'all could have been still rocking together nice and tight. Like, you know what I'm saying? You could have just grew with this individual. Like, y'all could have just both bossed up. But I'm getting this person chose to be a karmic. And it could have been because they was lusting after this karmic, this other karmic masculine here. And because of that, I feel like somebody here is like, wow, like I did all of this for nothing. My plans didn't work. It didn't, it didn't affect this person. Like I feel stupid. I feel foolish. Like I made all of these reckless decisions for no reason. Somebody here is realizing they, they made poor decisions for nothing. What's this? Because I feel like they didn't get anything out of it. Yeah, we got the high priestess in reverse. What's the high priestess in reverse spirit? The tower. Yeah, it's like something is backfiring on them. Something is definitely backfiring. And I feel like it's because it was it was all of this. It was all of this mystery. Somebody was a mistress. But it's backfiring because I feel like, I mean... It's not too much of a mystery. I don't know. It's like now it's not a mystery because you're not involved or something. What's this? Or you don't care? Yes, five of cups. Somebody regrets it because somebody's like five of coins. Like they got abandoned or you completely abandoned them or you completely abandoned both of them. I'm getting you abandoned your friend and this karmic masculine. So it's like neither one of them have access to you. So it's like, what was the point of being a mistress, a side piece, a secret? And I feel like you don't want them or the person. I don't know if they thought that they was playing games or they was getting over on you. I'm getting you cut them both off. Yeah, and I feel like with the Knight of Swords here, it's like they could be arguing with the other person here. Two of Wands. Yeah, they could be trying to tell this person to come back to apologize to you. This is weird. What's this? The Six of Cups in reverse and the World in reverse. Yeah, like somebody here is nostalgic on the past. So I feel like somebody's talking about your misfortunes or... When you didn't have something or when you weren't successful or when you weren't doing well. Yeah, but I feel like I feel like you're you're standing in your truth. I don't know. I feel like somebody's talking about when you were doing bad or something. What's this? Yeah, the four of coins. So somebody could be like, yeah, I held you down when you didn't have nothing. I was there for you when you didn't have nobody or something. What's this page of coins in reverse? Yeah, this person's like, when you weren't, when you didn't have that skill or when nobody believed in you, when nobody invested you, when nobody saw your work, when nobody saw your talents, nobody saw you had gifts, this person could be trying to take credit for your greatness. So if you're doing well, like this person is trying to say like, it's because they were there for you when you didn't have nothing and they, they helped you build your worth or this person's trying to say, like, you wouldn't have your self-worth if they didn't do what they did to you. It's like, somebody's like, yeah, I tormented this person. Yeah, I hurt them. Yeah, I betrayed them. Yeah, I cheated on them. But if I wouldn't have did all of that, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have been as great as they are now. And in some way, that's truthful. But I'm getting to have the skill, the talent for them to try to say, like, oh, you wouldn't have found that you were a great artist. Or you wouldn't have found that you were a great songwriter if I wouldn't have hurt you. But it's like, okay, well, um, that's great and all. But at the same time, it, you, this person may have awoken something in you, but they cannot take credit for what is in you. What's this? The two of wands. Because you still decided to choose this path. Like, I feel like you did the right thing. You 
chose the right path. You chose to do right. You chose to move on. You chose, instead of like deciding to like get crazy and reckless and karmic and get your get back and get your lick back and be low vibrational, you decided, nope, I'm not even going to allow myself to get involved with the drama because I know it's some, some spiteful, hateful shit going on. I'm not even going to get involved. I'm just going to continue to do me, evolve and work off. And some of y'all, I feel like you knew something was up, but you just did not speak on it. You didn't show your hand. You just quietly took yourself out of the equation. Like, uh, thank you. It was nice having it. Like, I feel like you just slipped on through the cracks. Like, thank you. Bye. And they're like, wait a minute. If it was a third party situation. Like, I feel like you was like, hey, I got to use the bathroom. And then they never seen you again. Like, it was like, hey, have you saw such and such? They're like, oh, shit. I don't know where they at. You just left. You're like, something ain't adding up. Two and two ain't adding up. Final message is Holy Spirit. Final message is Holy Spirit. What's this? Yeah, the magician. Yeah, it's almost like somebody here wants a... What's the magician? The hangman. <sighs> I don't know why somebody is trying to make up some sort of um, story about you or something. Somebody feels like they have enough evidence to um, expose somebody here. What's this? Or there's some sort of evidence. Yeah, I feel like there's... Un yep. Cool. Like I told y'all, I feel like I'm hearing at the beginning of the reading, unfinished business. Like, somebody's like, no, it's not over. Like, you can't just walk away like that. This person does not feel like they, they've healed or... Yeah, but I'm getting, you're the one who went through the, it's weird, because I feel like whoever this friend is, or this lover, I don't know, I don't know if it's both of them, or whatever, whoever, whichever one it is, but I'm getting, somebody feels like, no, they haven't really got closure, and it's almost like they're mad they don't have closure, so like they're trying to find a bunch of stuff to kind of expose you, or expose something because I feel like they haven't got closure. This is crazy. But I'm getting they betrayed you, but they feel like they need closure. What's this? I'm telling you, we got the will of fortune in reverse. It's like this person feels like you should go through some sort of hardship. Somebody wants you to have a hard time. And I feel like it's because the star card, like I said, I feel like your healing is really triggering somebody. Somebody here is like really upset at the fact that like you healed. But I feel like you don't even know what happened. Like I feel like some of y'all, if you knew like this betrayal happened, you're like already 10 steps ahead. So you're like, whatever, I don't give a fuck, fuck you. Some of y'all, you just, like I said, went on with your life. You didn't even know what happened, happened. You had no clue. You may have felt like something was going on, but you had no confirmation. So you just did what you did and was like, Lord, just cover me, protect me from my enemies. And that's exactly what happened. Like, you just got moved out of the equation. Somebody here is like, no, I don't feel like I really got to do what I wanted to do. And I feel like somebody here is mad because they're realizing like they did all of this plotting and scheming and hiding and secrets and all this shit just for nothing and then you just walked away anyway so somebody's like why did i even go through all this somebody didn't get nothing out of it because i feel like they're not even with the person either so they're mad yeah six of wands in reverse i feel like this person is like they could also be going through some sort of challenges in their life and like I said, like they're, they never got validated or they never got the respect or the approval. I don't know. I feel like if somebody was a third party, I feel like they got dogged. Yes, the nine of cups in reverse, that person who they was dealing with was completely selfish, took advantage of them, everything. I'm getting somebody here got dogged as a third party. 
what's this yeah and i feel like with the ten of coins like yeah i feel like this person could have gave you everything and they were just like a lover for real like somebody was just like having sex with this person or using this person whatever the case was and i'm getting somebody gave you the whole ten pinnacles or somebody or you had a family with this person I'm getting this person invested everything into you and gave this person the, the lovers in reverse. But I'm getting this person was emotionally unavailable. Yeah, I feel like somebody got with somebody here who was in love with you, but was sleeping with them. And I'm getting somebody was completely dog, rejected, disrespected. I'm getting somebody was used. I'm getting somebody could have went through some sort of hardships because of this. I'm also getting as well, like this person could have gave this person like a lump sum of money or something. So like somebody was really trying to get that title. What's this? We got the page of wands in reverse and I'm getting somebody still is not checking for this person or nothing. I don't know. I feel like it's really sad. We got, yeah, the knight of cups in reverse. I feel like somebody got used. That's why this person is still like, no, there's unfinished business. Like somebody here really wants to, somebody wants their time back. They want their money back because, but I'm getting, why are they coming after you? Why are they coming after the collective Holy Spirit? The three of coins in reverse. Like I said, you took yourself out of the equation. Because there's that three energy again. I'm getting their plan didn't work. The eight of swords in reverse. Yeah, they, I don't know if they thought they was going to trap you. They could have thought they was going to trap you on some sort of contract. I'm getting you didn't agree to the contract or something. Yeah, the sun card. Yeah, because I'm getting like this person wanted to be. Yeah, I feel like. It's almost like. It's almost like this person wanted to be with you too. Let me tell y'all. You could have been with somebody who was trying to push that whole open relationship shit with you. Like, they could have been trying to see if you was, like, down with threesomes or down with, like, having another person in your relationship or something. You know why they was doing that? Because they was messing with this friend. This friend wanted y'all to be in, like, some polygamous, like, relationship. And I'm getting, they felt like, like, everything was about you the entire time they was, like, dealing with you. Like, this person feel like the entire time they was around you, like, it, everything was about you. Everything was about making you happy. Everything was about making you successful. Everything was about making you stand out. Everything was just about you. All eyes on you. All eyes was on you. All time. I feel like you got all the time. You got all of the attention. You got all the money. You got everything. And they got breadcrumbed. Because somebody chose to be a side piece. I'm getting somebody thought... Somebody could be a little delusional because I feel like somebody thought that like this was working. Like you, it's like somebody here thought that y'all was all together, but like without you knowing, <laughs> I, somebody might be crazy. We got the, <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I cannot make this up y'all. This person, whoever this Cam McMaskin was was like extremely selfish like and i feel like with the five of wands that's where all the conflict came from because one person felt left out 
And I feel like it's because you were not aware that this person was even involved. The lovers, I cannot. I feel like somebody want to be with you too. But they had to go through your masculine to try to get your masculine to convince you to be with all three of y'all. Oh, this is crazy. Ah, oh, I'm leaving. Oh my gosh, I have never. I have never. Why? Why did they feel like they had to go to this masculine? Eight of Cups in reverse. What's this Eight of Cups in reverse? The Queen of Swords. That's why. Okay, so check this out, y'all. This 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 tarot shit is crazy. So check this out. If you didn't know that they were sleeping with this person, right? They feel like if they came to you with this idea, you would have put two and two together. Like, so why the fuck is it that you want me to be in a, th a third party relationship with you and my man? If y'all ain't already fucked around. And then you're going to be doing calculations like, okay, 2 plus 2 equals 4. And this person was like, no, I can't come to them and ask them about this. You're going to have to ask them because then if you ask them, it'll look like you just being a guy. You just being a man. You just wanting your cake and eating it too. Like, it's just going to look like that if you do it. But if I do it, they're going to know like we've been fucking around. They're going to know. This is just too much. I'm leaving. I'm done. I'm telling you, need help. I'm telling you, that's crazy. Like I said, look at it on the card. It says advanced symbolism. Y'all, I'm telling you, this person knew you was going to get insight. Somebody knew, like, if they had came to you and was like, on this whole, let's be together, like, let's all be together. They knew you was going to be like, nah, y'all motherfuckers been fucking around. Because ain't no way. Ain't no way. And I feel like this person was already a little scared anyway. Because I feel like you was picking up on something. And I feel like you was. But I feel like you just didn't invest in it too much. Yeah, we got the inverse in reverse. What's this? The seven of cups in reverse. Child. Honey. Somebody may have even had to get rid of a child. Honey, somebody may have had to get an abortion or something. Honey. The freaking tea today is... I don't know who whose story this is but honey the tea today i'm getting somebody had to even get rid of a baby honey ace of cups Ace of Cups, Holy Spirit. This is too much. This is too much. Yep. Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah. I just feel like, yeah, temperance. You were being protected. I feel like you chose yourself as you should. I'm getting whatever you chose to do was the right thing to do. I feel like you were being divinely guided to walk away from this relationship. I'm getting you love this person like with all your heart. But I'm getting the lovers in reverse. There was someone connected to y'all the whole time and I'm getting it was a friend. This person was not. I'm getting this friend went to extreme lengths. So if you and your friend had a rocky ass relationship and you was wondering why it was so rocky. 
Child the T. I'm getting this person then had abortions and everything. This is too much. This is too much tea. I was not expecting this tea today. I was not. We have brother, trauma bond, mother, Aries. We have new jobs. So I feel like some of y'all, you know, this person here, they could have had a trauma bond with you, whatever the case was. I'm getting with this mother card coming out here. I feel like it's Will. Like somebody here's brother also is like attracted to someone here. I feel like you have a lot of people who like want you. We have a Capricorn controlling. We have a karmic masculine. Be safe. Yeah, I feel like you have people who are attracted to you, but I'm getting these people are close to you. It's like weird. I feel like you're around a bunch of people who want to be with you. And like you're just going on with your life and shit and motherfuckers realize like really want to be with you. We have Faith Walk. We have Virgo. We have Sister. Some of y'all just going to be your own sister. We have, you are never too old to set another goal or to live a new dream. Yeah, go on. Go ahead and dream on. Live your life. Go ahead and take a leap of faith. Leave this shit behind. I feel like you are leaving it behind. Because I feel like you got people around you who are trying to control you and all type of stuff. And I feel like it's like it's people are working together and it's a lot of shit going on. I feel like you don't realize how much you were protected from. Like... For real. And I'm glad that you were. Because I'm, I'm getting that. Whatever you did not know. It's like if you had a feeling. But you had. This is your confirmation. But I feel like. A lot of you guys. The reason why. Spirit protected you from knowing. The extent of how far shit was going. Is to make sure that like. You didn't. You know. Like come on y'all. We know what you like. We could be the hardest motherfuckers in the world. But pain is pain real we have illnesses yeah this could have affected your mental health it had you known because it says speak good see good results like i feel like you always was the type of person who looked you just always yes we have opportunists it's like you always try to be the person to just see the best in everyone see the best in every situation it's like you would like you i feel like you would have like this feeling like is they doing that shit and then you'd be like no nah, they wouldn't do that to me lord i hope they wouldn't but, like, I feel like they really did. And I feel like because of that, like, that's why spirit is, like, protecting you. Because you have such a big heart that had you known at the time that you were in love with this person, at the time that you were dealing with this person, had you have known the extent of what the shit that was going on behind your back, I feel like in some way it could have broke you. The fact that these people were opportunists, you know, maybe they were working together to try to get you in some sort of business um contract or something or they were using you financially or they were working together for whatever reason but i feel like these people it's good you walked away and it's good your heart was protected because i feel like you have a big heart and you wouldn't have been able to deal with that had you still been mentally physically emotionally involved with somebody i feel like you walking away and maturing now you are mature enough to hear these things now you are mature enough to see these things come out into the light because you're able to handle it better. So that's what I feel. Like the video for resonate. Comment down below if you feel the vibe. Subscribe. Peace.